Hey folks, Ace here. I did a lot of camping this summer, or day camping, along the beaches of PCH. And my biggest issue was the toilet. So this is the name of my episode. Wait for it. There it is. This is the reason why I want to talk about this episode because previously um, I didn't talk much about doing solo toilet usage in my truck camper. So that's what I'm going to talk about today. Okay, right now, like I said, I'm just I'm just hanging out, taking a different break. But this inside here, this is the inside of my truck as of September 2024. You know, have my speakers and whatnot, right? This area is when I'm solo. I talked about when I'm solo. Don't have the wife running around with me. I'll sleep here. Normally this cushion right here, I have that so when she comes that I can actually, she has a really cool place to lay down. It's actually better than my bed. And when that's not there, it takes up about almost what, eight inches or so. So I have more space right there. But what I want to focus on is what's up under this little guy right here. This is where I keep my boxio. Normally when I talk about the boxio, I have it out in a tent that I've made up. And in this case, I started asking more questions. The whole purpose of this is so that I don't have to shit in a bucket. Problem is there's already enough height in here. I already have a height restriction as it is to be in here. And normally, you know, men, men don't need to worry about doing a number one. They can pee in a bottle, it's no big deal. But I entertain the idea, well, what the heck happens when you have to do a number two and I watch a lot of van lifers, they never really talk about how they sit inside of their vans, but they do have the head clearance so that when they sit down, they don't have that issue. Well, if you're in one of these guys right here and you talk about having toilets and buckets and whatnot, you don't have enough room. So I'm gonna pull this box here out. I'm gonna show you what's different about how it would work in a truck because I don't really see anybody talk much about this. So stay tuned. Now, Boxio unboxed, or I'll say in this case uncovered. Um, it has, there's a top and a bottom to it. You can buy the original portion, which is the actual toilet itself. And it's about, I think it's 11 inches tall. The way that it is right there, that's 11 inches. Okay, and then the piece that goes on the other side of it, this is where you can keep all of your other stuff. This is another four inches. So you have about 15 inches of space to work with. And that's not really half bad. I mean, that's almost toilet height. So it's not really um, a tough issue for most folks. Like if you're in a van, that's probably no problem. But in a truck, 15 inches is kind of tall and a bucket's actually taller than that. But these two guys are set up whereas you put the two of them together, that gets you 15 inches. But if I have to get into a situation where I got a number two up in here, then the reality is I have to set that joker down like this. Now, let me give you kind of an idea of just me even sitting on my bed and then showing sitting on this uh, boxio relative to the bed. Now, even when I'm sitting in my truck right now, I don't normally spend a lot of time just sitting in here, but I, I usually am either leaning back, I'm relaxing like this. And sometimes if I'm going to do something like this, it's something, it's just enough for me to get around and maybe move some things around, maybe pull out my television or something like that. You know, I can, I can do something really quick like that. 
but for the most part when I'm in here especially if I'm calling myself going to do it overnight or spending the night or sleeping wherever the heck I feel like doing I'm usually like this like everyone else that you would see on a camper shell like this but and if I have to use the bathroom I have a blue bottle I can sit here and game over I can go right back and lay down I don't like the idea though if I have to do number two of actually having to go to a camper restroom or getting out in the middle of the night where I can't see anything stuff like that I I had to come up with something that might have worked that could work for me um, where I don't have to worry about that so then even with this boxio if you I'll show you guys right here okay so this is boxio sitting up and it's only like 11 inches or whatever that is off the ground so it's not up real high but if I set that there my whole point is that if I have to do heaven forbid I have to do a number two and I don't want to have to leave um, Boxio just might come in handy that's why I can sit right here so when I sit right here now most people lean over when they're on the toilet let's be honest you ain't sitting straight up so but if I had to I can sit here on this Boxio in this truck and I can do my I can do a number two and cover it up now the one thing I do like is that once you once you pour your horse pellets or your hemp hemp shreds or whatever else you use since this is a um, they call it a separator composting toilet right if it if that works then all I have to do is I sprinkle my stuff on the top then I get off I've done my business I'm still here and then I flip that guy down and believe it or not this actually this seals real good I'm really I was pleasantly surprised especially outside now of course I wouldn't probably be inclined to throw my boxy over here right next to my head more than likely I'd have it down the other end of the truck but the idea is to just kind of show yeah I got that and you know I have a fan so between those two things uh, I can do a number two in my truck and no I don't have to shit in a bucket so that's something that I just wanted to share and give me your thoughts on that like I said Boxio um, look it up on Amazon it's, it's the least expensive of so-called composting toilets or it's getting pretty it's, it's the lower end and it's good for a truck so um, I'm in the camper shell and I got some other ideas I'll talk about a little later but that's for right now take care